Pressure Biosciences is a leader in de the development and the sale of innovative high-pressure tech instruments and services for the life science as well as other industries. And with me is CEO Rick Schumacher to talk about this. And I was just fascinated by this technology. It's very unique. So give me an overview of the company and what it is that you do. Sure, sure. Love to, good to see you again. Yeah. And uh, we're a publicly traded company, uh, fully reporting on the OTCQB. And we are a company that is developing instruments that, that all use high pressure. Pressure is an amazing force of nature. It moves at the speed of sound. It can do many of the things that I, as a scientist, can do in the lab. But it's very clean, very quick. And you turn it on and you turn it off. So we've been developing a number of things in, in the area of using high pressure. Pressures that go to like two or three times the pressure at the bottom of the Marianas Trench, the deepest part in the Pacific Rim. And everything has a pressure point. We can break open HIV and, and, and inactivate HIV, the virus that causes AIDS, at about 17,000 pounds per square inch. But for the hepatitis B virus, we have to go to 65,000. So once you know what the pressure point is, you can dial it into the machine that we make and sell. We have about 400 around the world, mostly in protein labs. Actually, the top protein labs in the world, most of them use our, our machine that uses pressure. So that's okay. one of our technologies. It's fascinating. So, okay, so, and, and I mentioned life sciences, although there were other applications, but this could break down, as you mentioned, a virus. So you can, and what, how is that useful to be able well, to break well, something down? So, so a couple of things. First of all, if you're a scientist, as I am, uh, it, with my expertise in, in infectious diseases, you want to be able to handle uh, the viruses, the bacteria safer. Mm -hmm. So you want to inactivate them if you can up front, but you don't want to destroy all the good stuff that's in the virus. You want to, if it's RNA, DNA, protein. So pressure, you can control it. And therefore you can get a better sample that's prepared for you as a scientist. So we have a, particularly proteins, which are a bit labile. So we have a number of scientists all over the world that are using a machine using our process called pressure cycling mm -hmm. technology. And I'm assuming that helps you study them better. You it can does. learn more how they work and it maybe does. cures and things like that. Absolutely, can, uh -huh. absolutely. And, and uh, one quick example is uh, biopsy tissues. Mm -hmm. it, it enables more things to come out of the biopsy tissue. So we're hoping that a scientist somewhere is gonna find the key to maybe pancreatic cancer or, or very aggressive prostate cancer. Yeah. This is what it can do because it can very carefully get more proteins out and maybe there's a protein that we're not normally seeing mm -hmm. through this instrument using high pressure. Maybe we see it. It allows, allows you to get a look at these things. It does. In no other way possible. And right. That's exactly right. right. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, and you have this new process, ultra shear technology. We do. Tell me about that and how that's significant. So ultra shear is, is a process that combines ultra high pressure, which we're experts in. Everything we do has high pressure uh, with shearing. And what we do is we, we put material under very high pressure and we release it at high pressure and it comes out at very fast, like supersonic speed. And it goes through a patented valve, a valve our guys created. It's kind of funny that, you know, valves have been around for centuries and we got a patent in the US with this valve in about two and a half years. It was so unique. Mm. Uh, and what it does is it goes to the valve and the way the valve is made, at high pressure, it shears the oil. So this, now think about oil and water, they don't mix. Right. When we put oil and water together, the oil could contain any active ingredient. Could be a pharmaceutical like prednisone, could be a cosmetic like retinol, it could be cannabis, T, uh, THC or, or, or CBD. It could be any type of curcumin or vitamin or, or, or supplement. When, when, when that gets into the body, it's so big in the oil that we get very little of it absorbed. So what we're doing with our machine in ultra shear the process is we're shearing the oil. We're breaking the oil down. So imagine one oil drop out of a thousand being broken into a million tiny little nano sized oil drops. What happens is what is in the oil gets dispersed into all of those million tiny little nano oil droplets. Mm -hmm. Now you have millions, tens of millions of tiny little oil droplets. And the way the human body works is that if you have more surface area, your body's able to absorb things out faster and better, more completely. Okay. So by doing that, we can increase the absorbability of what's in the oil. Could be vitamin D3, it could be CBD, uh, it could be prednisone. We can increase that a multiple, maybe three, four, five fold by breaking it down. It's very novel, very new, 
We have uh, eight issued patents in that area out of over 39 patents in the company. We have eight on ultra shear. And we just released our first commercial product earlier this week. Uh, we're a B2B, so we're selling, we're providing a service, taking other people's oil. In this case, it was CBD oil. We broke it down to very small nanoparticles. We put it into vials. They labeled it and selling it. Their company called uh, CBD Supply MD Maryland, mm. and they have it now out there. So we have our first ultra shear processed product. We 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 really think that over the next two or three months, we're going to sign 10, 15 more deals in 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 the CBD area. But what we really want to get into are other areas like immune boosters and, and sleep and, and, and cosmetics and things like yeah, that. Yeah, no, it seemed like there would be a lot of applications for this um, because oils are in a lot of things. They are. <laughs> so, um, and, and I guess the, the application for the end user then is more efficient use of whatever product it is. If they're able to absorb it better, um, more efficient use of resources as well. It, 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 you, you hit the nail on the head, or maybe there's two nails here. You okay. hit one of them, <laughs> and, and one of them is, is that you know, we have a lot of expensive pee and poop in this country, in every country, because we're excreting all of this good stuff out because we can't absorb it fast enough. So when we take something that's in oil, our body says, OK, I want to get that active out. But the body also says, I got to get rid of this oil. Mm -hmm. So generally speaking, four to 20 percent uh, comes out into the body. So all these people that are buying and using curcumin and astaxanthin, the most powerful antioxidant in the world, and vitamin D3 and prednisone and retinol and, and CBD and many other things, hundreds if not thousands of active ingredients, we're only getting about 5, 10, 15, 20% at best out. By using our process, we can increase that to the other side of the spectrum. We can look and get 60, 70, 80, 90% of it out, therefore, People buying it are going to get their, their money's worth, and people producing it can actually save money because they may not need it as powerful as it is coming out. They can dilute it back a little bit, reduce the cost. I'm a dreamer. Reduce the cost and also still have something that's more potent than what's out there now. Than what they had originally. Exactly. So, okay, so you mentioned you just got uh, this new contract. We did. Yes, and you're looking for more. So explain like what are some other companies or industries where this would also be so, applied. So we have, um, certainly uh, pharmaceutical is gonna be the big daddy. Uh, there's 44%, I read the other day, 44% of all new drug candidates are in oil. So how are we going to absorb them? Uh, a, a compound that a lot of people take, I took this year, my wife took last year, prednisone. I had a big rash and the, and the doc said, rub it on, rub it on good. Why? Because it doesn't go through the skin very well. And so he wants me to rub it copious amounts on. So I have more, hopefully, that gets to, to the site of the inflammation. Uh, so pharmaceuticals are big. Cosmetics, anti, every anti-aging serum or cream that I've ever seen has retinol in it. We've been very successful in nano-sizing retinol, mm. the oil mm. that contains retinol, and it became much more powerful. Uh, so maybe you can use less or, or maybe mm -hmm. you can use more and, and, skin, and tighten the skin better. Yeah. Agrochemicals, mm -hmm. a lot of insecticides and pesticides are in oil. Plants are, are water-based too, so the plants, we wanna make it more absorbent. So it just doesn't wash off the leaf, so it gets absorbed into the plant system. Um, certainly, all of the uh, the stimulants and the and the uh, nutraceuticals are most of them. Many of them are many of the vitamins are in, are in oil. Uh, astaxanthin is the most powerful antioxidant on the face of the earth. It's a thousand times more powerful than vitamin C, and yet it's in oil. So uh, coenzyme Q, uh, vitamin D3, all of these anti-inflammatories, antioxidants are in oil. So you can see that the breadth of this and our patents go really big. Yeah, well, and maybe even places you haven't quite thought about yet. <laughs> I mean, do you have any idea like what kind of revenue potential there might be with this or are you just one step at a time? Um, we, we, we tell people that right now we've had some very good luck in the cannabis field. We're not cannabis people. Mm -hmm. We're a bunch of geeks, a bunch of scientists and engineers that have built a, a system to break open cells, but we said, wait a minute, this can, might, might help the world by getting oil to go into water, so to speak. Um, and so 
We tell people we've had very good luck in cannabis. Mm -hmm. Cannabis is a very large and growing market. Mm -hmm. I know there's a lot of cannabis, cannabis players that are having a tough time now because mm -hmm. there's a surplus of, of material right. and, and everything on the market. But it's still a huge market and it's growing. It's a multi, multi-billion dollar market. Mm -hmm. It's by far the smallest market that we're going to be getting yeah. into. But it's our low-hanging fruit. Mm -hmm. We've had tremendous results with CBD. CBD, you know, people think of CBD as something that can help them in a number of ways. We have data from an academic institution that should be published in the month of June that shows that we blow the socks off of anything that's, that they've ever seen. That's currently there. Mm -hmm. THC is, is another compound that's in oil. Um, we've had two press releases uh, that have said that we've had two consumer studies with about 35 people and these 35, there, there's a big spectrum here. If you smoke or vape it, you can, you can get the effects real quick. And if you don't smoke or vape, and if you take an edible, you're talking about 30 minutes at best, probably 45 to 60 minutes to start feeling the effects. Some people like to take THC to take the edge off, to get some sleep, mm -hmm. um, to, to, to lower their anxiety. We've had 35 people in these two consumer groups that have come back and Without a doubt, all of them under 15 minutes, most of them between three and five minutes with the spray that went into the mouth of nano emulsified THC that we did in California mm -hmm. under their license, under license of, a, of a group we work with. They, they had the two consumer groups. Imagine that. Now someone that says, I, I want to take the edge off when I go to sleep. They don't have to smoke or vape, which is not good for the lungs. Right. And they don't have to try to time it, you know, 30, 60 minutes, they can take it and within three to five minutes, they can have the effects. Yeah. And someone that's going, you know, someone's being interviewed, let's say by you, wants to take the uh, effects and, and, and get the anxiety. Relax a little you bit. Know, relax yeah. a little bit. <laughs> and, I'm pretty uh, tough, I know. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just fascinating technology. And it sounds like it really, you know, could have a lot of potential in a lot of different industries. So yeah. well, thank you, Rick, for coming and explain that. Best of luck. Maybe you'll come back uh, once you have this more developed down the road and we can learn about we're, we're, about it. we're moving very quickly yeah. and you know it, it's exciting for our shareholders because we've been working on it for three or four years mm -hmm. we pivoted to put 90 percent of our effort into old to in the last year and our first products on the market and i i, I can tell you that it's not gonna it's gonna we're talking days to weeks when the next and the next and the next because we're already very close to signing multiple deals uh, for for this because the technology is just so so good so efficacious. Okay, well we'll look forward to that. Thank you so much. Thank Rich, you for coming. Yeah. Yes.